Alec Dokes, the inveterate smoker, the man who simply has to have a cigarette. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is where I came in. little gathering, a quiet evening of bridge made possible by the genuine hospitality of Mr. and Mrs. Joe McDokes. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is where I came in. in the blissful cloak of Morpheus is Joe McDokes, your neighbor and mine. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is where I came in. American institution, the races, witnessed each year by hundreds of thousands of enthusiastic horse followers, such as Joe McDokes, an ace at the sport of kings. Hey, Mac, watch me in the fort. Come on out. You got company. But don't feel embarrassed, Joe. There's nobody but men in the audience. Oh, well. Hair today and gone tomorrow. that tired feeling? Well, if misery loves company, meet Joe McDokes. And to think, just a couple of weeks ago, I was a nervous wreck.
already recognize this guy. It's Happy Joe McDokes. Happy? Well, he has an apartment. Then why is he acting like a fugitive? Little visitor. to try for movie stardom? If you do and succeed, you'll toil long hours at the studio. Wonderful, wonderful. That's it, boys. Wrap it up. George, that was a beautiful scene. Beautiful. It was nothing. Nothing at all. Joe McDokes, a perfect figure of America's tiredest businessman. Joe has toiled faithfully at the office for 50 long weeks. Thousand dollars. I got the last line right here. I got it right here. I got it right here. No phone. No phone. No telephone. centers its attention on an invisible giant, the atom. But let's not forget the ex-serviceman who laid down his guns of war for the weapons of industry. What's happened to G.I. Joe? married for five years. The first three years, we were very happy, but lately, Alice and I aren't getting along. Mr. Agony, I've got a problem. Mm -hmm. 